music. We've been looking for potential winners to really step up and take advantage of an amazing opportunity. That's exactly what Penn National Gaming did today. They bought 36% equity stake in Barstool Sports. Like, I love talking gambling. I love this show. And it just hit me like a lightning bolt. That's our business now. I have unlimited money. Like, I have unlimited money. Bend in this. The bend and snap. I don't know. And don't forget to give it to a crap daddy. Oh, that's all we got on the beach. Crack daddy. How's he pulling that? How's he pulling that? Is it hooked? How's the ass looking, friend? What? Yeah. All right. By the you way, picked what a day to come. The day was in the freaking hospital. Oh, what, what happened? Oh, I, I don't know. So I'm battling non Hodgkin's lymphoma. The report is good, you say? Yeah, man. Hey, hey man. I got to hug you. Yeah, yeah, that's, that's, good. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah. Yeah. that's good to know. Not one beer, all of them. I'm mean, a zillion beers. <laughs> <laughs> they thought we had that all planned out. All right, Frankie. Let me just quickly talk about the NASDAQ. It is the largest percentage loser on the main indices, down four and a third percent. I don't remember seeing a 400 point loss on the NASDAQ in a long time. Okay, I'll walk right into a quarantine zone and eat pizza in Corona's face. All right, uh, pizza review time, Quarantineville. All right, live from the DNP 500. Uh, I am a professional day trader now. Who the fuck am I talking to? Someone talk in my ear. Hello? <laughs> Fucking idiot. Oh, will someone talk? That is how you trade. I don't know why you're laughing. Well, I'm laughing because it's insulting because I'm day trading for the last two weeks and you have all these stock market experts and you ask me about baseball. We'll just keep banging out these frozen pizzas. Somebody's at the door. This is a fucking big boy package. I'll fucking cut you. Don't worry about it. What is this? I look like kind of like Grimace. I strive. Burn, 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 burn. Are you not supposed to touch dry ice? The unboxing is turning into its own fucking thing. 8 p.m. tonight, live unboxing. They just keep fucking coming. It's unbelievable. All right, let's unbox. So what that is, is just a huge fucking black dildo. Eat back some titties. Look who it is, you motherfuckers, Jax. These cocksuckers thought they were too good for the game. And I mean that with no disrespect calling a cocksucker. Oh, look at this little floppy piece of shit. A weak lib dick. Keep running the football. That is how you fucking trade. See you back 9.30 tomorrow. I got an ax. <laughs> I got a fucking ax. Like that way and you're fucking dead. Hold on. <laughs> It, it, it's a blood, it's a bloodbath. Don't fucking text me at the opening. I asked for fucking t-shirts. Juggle, juggle, angel, devil, angel, devil. What should I do? People have stepped it up. I am getting too many presents. These are all today unopened. Live fish? What does that fucking mean? Oh, there is a fish in there. Is he dead? No, he's swimming. What do I gotta do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Open the bag. Does he go in warm water or cold water? Fuck yeah. His name's Randolph. How's Randolph doing? Here he is in the flesh. Randolph, swim for the people, Randolph. Look at how happy he is. Little Randolph, little Randolph, the goldfish. And we're gonna get you a brother. Powder. He's dead. So we have everything. What do you think of some fucking deadbeat dad? And a quick update, not a good one. Gustavo's dead. What is this called besides the fucking angel of death? How are you breathing this? DDTG Global. That's my day trading firm. I'm smarter than the algorithms. They shouldn't have let me back in this game. You don't let Davey Day Trade Global stay in the game. Stocks always go up. We are our own revolution here where anybody can play this game. How blue do my eyes look right now? Like, stunningly blue? All right, we got another unboxing tonight. Everything there is. I don't know why I thought, oh yeah, I know why. I didn't know what was in there. I'm like, oh, it's going to get me. I didn't know what was going on in there. Every time I come downstairs, it's like every five minutes, basically. 
Whoa. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to fucking attack the camera yet. Yeah. We'll cop a pick whatever ever you need. Make spin. Boys, I can't talk. That Laffy Taffy, man, it's got me going right now. Unboxing nine tonight, and I've lost control of my life. This is an emergency unboxing. We have fucking baby chicks. These are the cutest motherfuckers of all time right here. But I can't turn this into a farm. I'm living in a fucking apartment in New York. It's a disaster. I mean, it's an unmitigated disaster. <laughs> Call her daddy, obviously, everybody's talking about that. This is going to be the explanation in my mind of what is going on or what has happened with Call Her Daddy. I got to wonder, like, what the fuck did Superman, and I don't want to keep going in on Superman, but what the fuck did he think was going to happen? Oh, Squid Ron. Squid Ron call. Oh, but Squid Ron call. What world these people live in? Oh, Squid, oh, Squid Ron call. It's all, it's good now, Squid Ron call. Obviously, I knew she was coming back. We got the deal done actually today. <laughs> I made more today than that suit guy from HBO who thought he was gonna fuck with me. Bro, you work for a network. I am the network. Okay, emergency press conference time. Roger Goodell, he did a charity with the NFL where you get to watch a Monday Night Football game with him at his house in his basement. Guess who won the auction? This guy. Let's go watch some football, Roger. You did not pass the NFL's background check. And we knew it was gonna happen. You have cowards, you have mega cowards, and then you have Roger Goodell. This is gonna break the internet. Imagine if I call my dad to be like, Dad, uh, <laughs> President Trump's on the other line. So we good to go here? What would you ask this guy, Dad? <laughs> hey, Paul, I got your rules for the watermelon eating contest. You think you're some champ, some tough guy, some teenage fucking know-it-all? All right, well, I, I, I don't know how to buy Bitcoin, all right? Someone cut this out and send this to the Winkle bosses. If you want to come in and teach me how to do Bitcoin so I can get rich, I'll talk about it. For the background, this is, the DD, this is Frankie, by the way. Hey, Frankie. We, 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 that was brilliant. <laughs> and I get a text, and I want to keep it low. My friend... Peter Nelson out at HBO Suitman. Gone. Who the fuck did he think he was messing with? Look at my eyes. Do I have COVID? I don't know. Maybe I'm gonna fight its ass. I got fucking COVID right where I fucking want it. Cult leaders don't fucking die from COVID. That's a pussy way to go out. I don't think anybody watching is gonna know who the fuck I am. Well, why don't you introduce yourself real quick? I mean, I'm 43 and they're like 17, so it's like hanging out with the bros who like to take their shirt off and just. I mean, they just wiggle dick all over the place, so I don't know if I'm gonna be wiggle dicking well. I'm gonna tell you, I'm not in great shape. I can set the stage. Josh Richards, myself, BFFs, Alex Cooper, special guest, special guest Griffin so. Johnson, Sway House, Bryce Hall. So we got like two of the biggest TikTok. I got the text. You're like, Ness is gonna join. I was like, Are you fucking kidding me? Basically, <laughs> we're launching our Barstool Sportsbook online applications next month in Pennsylvania. I'm gonna work my dick to the bone for all Penn shareholders. I will work my dick to the bone for Penn shareholders, Barstool Sportsbook. For the first time in a long time, I feel extreme pressure at Barstool. They will have to kill me for this thing not to be a success. New York City just closed indoor dining. What What do they think is gonna happen to the thousands of restaurants, the bar, they're done. We're gonna do what we can. So the Barstool Fund, it is modeled around Frankie Borelli. Well, his dad owns Borelli's in Long Island. The perfect example of the type of business we're trying to save. No. Yes. Hey, Patty. Hi. Merry Christmas. You know, my dad passed away last year. And uh, I was ready to give up. God bless you and your family. Thank you. Going you too. Going straight to heaven, man, because you're making a difference. What? You know?
We're gonna keep Mac Tenders going here. Thank you so much. And thank you, I have for my girls. Thank you, you're doing so much for so many people. So we're here. So you're part of our fund and we'll be here for this month until we can get back to normal. Thank you so much. Bye. 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 Bye.